All right, so I never really explained how I had these batteries set up. I have two 150 amp hour eco-worthy LiPo batteries that's ran in parallel. So they double the, the amp hours instead of the voltage. If I ran them in series, they would have doubled the voltage and turned them into a 24 volt system. But eventually I'm going to do that, but not now. I'm just working with a simple 12 volt system. The wires I got on it is one slash zero odd wires. They should be strong enough to hold this. I'm, I mean, I'm not running too much power off of this inverter. So so this system that I built for this RV is not actually connected to the RV. It's its own separate system. I'm basically going to use it to like run my mini fridge, my freezer, a couple fans, AC if I need to, my microwave if I need to, but AC is barely going to be ran. So, but I still, uh, the RV is still connected to his regular 12 volt system. I wanted to connect it to it, but I didn't want to disrupt nothing. I'm just going to leave this how it is and have it its own system. And just charge the batteries when I can. I'm gonna have a on onboard a uh, battery charging system that's connected up to my lead acid batteries that's under, and then just run it like that. So the way I got my 12 volt system running is I got it running to this. I have power voltage type C. I have a cigarette socket lighter tells me my volts I have another plug for usb I have another plug for a type c this is a fan to cool down my batteries cool down the whole system and i put this here to help cool down the inverter i'm eventually going to take these fans out and put it on this side just to help cool everything down. That's just in case if it heats up. If you're gonna have a simple setup like this and you're out camping, it's good for like a day or two, but I believe if you're gonna be out camping for like a week, two weeks or something, you should have a backup way of charging your batteries. Make sure you have like a little generator with a, with a um, smart charger for lithium ion batteries, something because your solar if you don't have a big enough solar system it's not going to be able to charge everything so and i'm not too sure if i even have a big enough solar system to charge all this but i'm going to find out so i keep this piece of paper in here to know basically like what charges state my battery's at so I mean, I believe it's always good to keep around just in case. And the reason why I have it for lithium is because this is lithium batteries or life pole or whatever. And I have one for AGM because I have AGMs under my RV. Thanks for watching.